And with a straight face, you're going to tell students that America is so star-spangled awesome that we're the only ones in the world who have freedom? Canada has freedom. Japan has freedom. The UK, France, Italy, Germany, Spain, Australia, Belgium has freedom. So 207 sovereign states in the world, like 180 of them have freedom. All right. And yeah, you, uh, sorority girl, just in case you accidentally wander into a voting booth one day, there's some things you should know. And one of them is there is absolutely no evidence to support the statement that we're the greatest country in the world. We're seventh in literacy, 27th in math, 22nd in science, 49th in life expectancy, 178th in infant mortality, third in median household income, number four in labor force, and number four in exports. We lead the world in only three categories. Number of incarcerated citizens per capita, number of adults who believe angels are real, and defense spending, where we spend more than the next 26 countries combined, 25 of whom are allies. So when you ask what makes us the greatest country in the world, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. How are you? It's about that time again. It's time for another Psycho Semantic Cast, and we are very close, as I sit here speaking, to the 2022 midterm elections, which I have gone on and on about, what, since the last election, probably? And if you've been listening for a while, you know that I get a bit manic the closer to elections we get people around me start asking me what's wrong <laughs> or why i look so distracted um yeah i don't know i mean hi how are you doing i know i didn't do any halloweeny episode but there's so many wonderful Halloween themed podcasts coming out this month. I have been focusing on something that scares me more, and that is the Republicans still doing so well in the polls after the Dobbs decision overturning Roe versus Wade and typical Republican stuff, you know, the whole well, you know, you know the fucking score. I I'm not you're tired, I'm tired, we're all tired of rehashing the awfulness that is American conservatism uh, these days. And that's, cons you know, well, again, again, with all the disclaimers, uh, I mean, fuck it, whatever. If, you're first, if this is your first time listening to the show, go listen to any other episode. <laughs> Uh, this is this is more of the acquired taste thing. I just wanted to say hi to everybody and check in on what's going on with me and with the world, with you. It's right around Halloween time. There's the smell of that sort of fiery smell that comes with fall, at least around here. Really, it is so much has been going on. I, uh, you know, haven't been putting out anything extra that's for sure and so yeah i mean fuck what's what's been going on uh are you on twitter are you guys are you folk still on twitter if you didn't leave twitter after the apartheid diamond mind baby man uh or the king of the libertarians bought twitter and i I don't know. People, uh, I don't know what's going on. It seems like a lot of people are quitting and a lot of people are coming back so they can say racial slurs. And there's some people, I'm not sure what's going on over there. If you are on Twitter, 
follow the show that f- for the time being is still on Twitter and is at political movies. Or if you look up psycho semantic, that should show up too. But the handle is at political movies on Twitter, uh, which is filled with all sorts of interesting ideas about the hammer attack on Nancy Pelosi's husband, which is fucking surreal. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's fucked up. It's fucking weird. I don't even know what to say about that shit, but the election is coming. The bare minimum the easiest thing a citizen of the United States or any country that allows voting can do is vote. It uh it works <laughs> at various degrees depending on where you are. Vote, protest, agitate, organize. I did some phone banking for a uh, abortion rights nonprofit this past week or text banking to be more specific and encouraging and discouraging. There, there were a lot of cool responses, but again, I, there were also confusing responses like, uh, what somebody said, I'm an atheist. Take me off your list. I don't know what being an atheist has to do with abortion access. I would think you would be for it, but who knows? I that's that's what I get for presuming. And only a couple people uh cussed at me and it was relatively mild from what I imagine the people who do the work every day accumulate in their in their memories of shitty people. I know I was on my newly 18-year-old niece's case until I knew she was registered to vote. She started getting more aware of stuff in high school. I believe I mentioned she did a report on the movie Wag the Dog and other forms of government propaganda in school. and Hit me up for sources uh, for the various debates she finds herself getting into. So it's cool that she's voting. In, uh, in this election. And here there's a cool thing where if you are 17 but will be 18 by the time of the regular election, you're allowed to vote for candidates in the primaries. Now, the Republicans in the state legislature and other activist groups have introduced a bill that they say is to keep people from illegally voting, but there is a thing in there that reduces the amount of time you have to register to vote and eliminates that thing that I just spoke of that I think is pretty cool. If you're going to be 18 in the general election, you can vote on who you're voting on in the primary election. Um, You can't vote on any of the other things, uh, but this is the usual boogeyman that the Republican parties, most places pull out close to elections. You know, immigrants are going to come illegally vote for Democrats and all the elections that I don't win or cheat or uh, I've been cheated and all the ones I win are just fine and other, other things. I don't know. Yeah. I'm, I'm here rambling and it hasn't even really been that long, but I don't know how closely you follow, but I have technically put something up on the psycho semantic YouTube channel. It is just the emergency podcasting system. Little quick promo that I made that fortunately some friends on other popular pods, uh, do me the courtesy of popping in every once in a while, sending an uh, errant listener my way. And uh, I want to thank them for that. And I thank any of you 
If you've ever recommended the show and got anybody to listen to it, if this again, if somebody got you to listen to it and this is your first one, like I said before, please check out any of the past ones so you get a little bit more of a feel for where I'm coming from. But yeah, it's October's ending. The election is coming. What the fuck else is going on? Uh, that's the problem with time stamping these things, though, is because as fast as our news cycle moves, it's pretty much over with before we even get a chance. It's it's hard to keep track of all the shit that's going on. Uh, DH Peligro. R.I.P. I just heard about that today. The the drummer for the Dead Kennedys that uh, I definitely looked at in when I was starting playing drums. Yeah, sorry. Speaking of YouTube, what sort of shit do you folk want to see on there? Um, I've got some ideas, but I'm always down for suggestions. And oh, you can tell I'm getting over being sick. My voice sounds like shit. So this will be probably shorter than the last one, but the a couple people did say they would rather have a little a little something of me by myself than me miss a drop. So yeah, I was <laughs> just giving you a little peek back into my mindset. Uh, as, as things are coming up, um, you know, of course, keeping your eyes on things, there's, I, if you are hearing this before the election, I cannot stress enough, look into your state Supreme Court election. There's, I mean, the, there's three seats on my state Supreme Court that are up for election this time. And there are things, like I said previously, that would eliminate uh, voting rights of people. There's so much fucking shit. Oh my God. It is, it is hard and I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, and I thank you for taking part so we can also complain and who the fuck knows getting weird. I almost did that corny uh, plant seeds of, uh, the tree that'll grow uh, under it, who, under whose shadow you will never sit. As someone more eloquent than I put it about elections or about dark times, or weird times. I know, I think it's in my interest, in ours perhaps, maybe in the interest of the greater good for me to smoke a joint and calm down. It's been demonstrably proven that probably my life will be easier than yours too if I smoke a joint. I really don't know if, if there are going to be any more missives from the bunker before the election, but I wish everybody luck and trying to stay hopeful. Yeah, uh, just wanted to say hi. And I love you all, and I've got a weird energy, and I'm working on getting back into the swing of things after dealing with the stuff at home, and regardless of the outcome of the election, there's shit to do. Let's get to it. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. What did we learn, Palmer? I don't know, sir. I don't fucking know either. I guess we learned not to do it again. Yes, sir. Well, I'm fucked if I know what we did. Yes, sir. It's uh, hard to say. Jesus fucking Christ. Isn't this an indictment of our entire American society? <laughs> Well, he did what we all must learn to do. You and you and you and you. Yep.
Mm-hmm. And cover.